24-7. That is the amount of time I spent from being a chemistry student for the last semester of my second year. From doing experiments till midnight, to drinking who knows how many cups of coffee just so I could stay up to accomplish tasks. But I still have fun. <laughs> I think I studied hard, accomplished requirements, take quizzes and exams, and at the same time survive every hell week imaginable to be a competent student that is equipped with knowledge and passion as fuel. This is Student Life, Episode 9. and welcome back to my channel. I am back and I'm back with so many uploads. So for this video, I'm going to show you what has been happening or what has happened during the last term of my second year. So I'm able to update you guys because I'm not able to update my student life because it's been taking up most of my time. I have to study, I have to do requirements. So I neglect it yung pag edit and stuff. Pero, I never forget to take video clips kung ano man yung mga ginagawa ko para sa inyo. So, I hope you get to finish this video up until the end. And it's gonna be two parts. The first part is about, like, the general student life, chemistry student life. Basically, it's about the subjects, the requirements of the subject, and ano yung ginagawa during online classes for a specific subject. And the second part is about me running for the student body. So if you're interested, if ever, in the future to be a student leader, I hope the part 2 of this video will help you guys. So ayun, I'm gonna stop talking here and I'm gonna share my journey as a second year chemistry student this second semester. Oh, hi. <laughs> Joke. Oh, hi. You're there. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, uh, for today's video or for the following clips that I'll be showing you, it'll be about the upcoming prelims week, which is actually composed of the major subjects in our course, which are um, physical chemistry, organic chemistry, lecture and lab, um, electives such as analytical microbiology, general industrial chemistry, and entrepreneurship for chemists. So the last two subjects that I stated, those are the chosen electives or those are my chosen electives. So if you want to know more about the different electives offered by my college, just click anywhere here. I don't know which side. So I'll just be yeah, tagging it right here on the screen so you can click it and know more about the different electives. So for now, what I'm going to be doing is prepare all my reviewers so that I'll have a smooth sailing review. So if you want to know more about the different topics that is included in our upcoming prelims week, just keep on watching.
I may share kasi natapos na akong magsulat ng notes. So, I'm just reading the last parts, which is the summarization. Kasi yung book namin may ang summary sa last part. So, I've actually written down my notes. Here, these are the first five chapters and I'm down to the last chapter. So, yun. Share ko lang. And I'm gonna stop talking kasi sayang oras. Let's go back to studying. Hi! Good morning! And I've already washed my face and what I'm doing now is kind of skimming through the lessons so I can refresh my mind and be ready for the exams. My rule for myself is always uh, stop studying one hour before the exam so that you can be mentally prepared and give yourself time to be ready. <laughs> so yeah, it's just uh, right now it's 9 a.m. of April 20 and 11 by my exam so what I'm doing is kind of refreshing my mind about the things I've studied if I remembered something <laughs> so yeah that's what we're gonna do Viticulture is the science of wine making. Enology is the science of wine making. Uh, viticulture is the science of grape growing, and enology is the science of wine making. Viticulture is the science of grape growing. Enology is the science of wine making. Your girl made it to this lesson. <laughs> I will study even more harder. Even more harder pa? No. <laughs> I will study harder. Grab it. You're very amazing, Lord. Yun lang the song I share sa inyo. Bye! That's my crew. Tell them that's my crew. Screaming, that's my crew. Baby, that's my, baby, that's my, that's my crew. On a weekday with crew, I'm ready to blow. We make it look real easy, but trust you'll never. from you players on the lineup so i think i love a few but never trust a boss i've been a toss and do that that's crew Let you down. I'm 
Yelling for some loyalty, they never make a sound I met a few that spoil me, they'll always stay around Been trying to be a baller, people take it out of bounds Trying to make it where it counts, stay surrounded by champs Had to go and think it out, then it happened by chance From the bottom to the top, like we rolling up rims Spent a fortune on a dream, burned a hole in my pants, yeah Constellation got the hottest crew Hi vlog! So today I decided to do a hell week in my life and it's actually May 10, 12.36 a.m. So technically, Monday na. Um, someone advised me to really show you the processes or how does it feel to be a second year chemistry student during hell weeks. So yeah, uh, let's go! I have one last requirement to accomplish which is actually Test number 14. Hindi ko pa nababuksan yung uploaded asynchronous video ng prof namin. So, aralin ko muna siya and then I'm gonna answer some problem test that is given on our handout. So, nagbibigay yung prof namin ng handout. Ayan siya. And then, actually, modules siya. Um, so, nagbibigay sila ng modules and then, Merong, sa dulo nun, merong mga problem sets na kailangan mo sagutan and able for them to make sure na may natututunan ka talaga. They're gonna discuss it uh, on the next synchronous session. Ang gagawin natin right now is aaralin natin siya and then sasagot tayo. Then matutulog na ako after. Kasi may klase pa ako bukas ng 8am. Pray for me. <laughs> Here, we'll be discussing the factor is effective equilibrium. Exothermic and endothermic reaction. We should also be able to describe how, to what extent, does the reaction depend on Good morning, it's actually 9.47 a.m. and I just finished my 8 a.m. class. Discuss lang ng bagong lesson about pulp and paper industry. So, hindi ko na siya vlog kasi nakahiga ako. <laughs> nakahiga ako. Ayaw ko maging bad influence sa inyo guys. So, hindi ko na siya vlog. Pero nakikinig naman ako and... I screenshot the notes that the prof gave. So, ayun, ngayon, we're gonna take some breakfast and maybe try to accomplish the last um, PE requirement. Which is so we just had a very short meeting in our PE and right now what we're gonna do is edit some requirements for PE I have two requirements for PE that needs to be edited It's currently 10.13 p.m. and I just finished editing uh, the requirements for PE, which is actually two videos. I said it earlier. And after this one, I think I'm gonna take a bath and just rest because my priority is rest right now. Because there are a lot of gas in the mga six requirements pa ang kailangan kong tapusin for the next few days. Pero, yeah, wala naman kasing deadline tomorrow and 
Saka na ako mag-aaral. <laughs> Sorry. Saka na ako mag-aaral. Priority ko muna yung rest. Kasi hindi ako pag-rest ng weekend. So, sobrang daming gagawin. So, yeah. Yun lang naman. And, good night. Hi! I'm back again. And we just finished our... A requirement for theology and I'm gonna show it to you guys so this is what we've made thank you Canva for the layout <laughs> and uh... so for now I'm gonna take a rest and sleep hi vlog so it's currently 11 23 p.m. and I've been procrastinating <laughs> So, ngayon, gagawa tayo ng logbook report and formal report. I'm gonna show you how we do logbook reports. Anyway, I decided to make Nylon 6.6 and there's two major ways to do this. There are many forms of nylon, but the most common ones are Nylon 6 and Nylon 6.6. Hi, sorry, nakalimutan kong nag-vlog. It's 4.35pm and ever since kaninang 2pm, lang yung ginagawa ko. I'm gonna show you guys. I just drew the setup for our logbook. Yan siya. I used Procreate. And habang ginagawa ko siya, tinuro niyang kuya ko na meron daw mas mabilis na gawin. <laughs> Hindi ko daw kailangan i-manual draw siya. So, meron daw app na chem draw. So, susunod yun na lang gagamitin ko para hindi na ako nag-drawing ng matagal. Kasi it took hours din. Mga 2 hours. Kanina ko ito ginagawa. Tapos, yan sila. I'll show you. Yan. Kita nyo ba? Ayan. And then, the last one is that one. Yan. Yan lang. And then, I'm gonna put it sa logbook and then I'm done. Hi, guys. It's been two days since I last vlogged my everyday life. <laughs> Sorry for that. Kasi ano, hindi ako makapag-focus ng may camera na nagre-record sa akin habang nag-aaral. So, ang tendency is mas humahaba yung time ng pag-aaral ko. Pero, I'll work on it very, very soon. So, yeah. Ang nangyari lang naman is, noong 13th, ano siya, holiday. Very boring siya. So, hindi ko na... Sabi ko, wag ko na lang i-film, wag rest na lang ako that day. And today, wala naman ganong nangyari. We just attended a seminar which is actually available on the UST Camsoc YouTube channel. Meron na silang YouTube channel. So, kung gusto nyo ma-check kung ano yung seminar na uh, inatena namin kanina, I'll just link it down below. Um, maganda yung naging talk kanina. Very interesting. Um, about siya sa uh, isang chemist din. Graduate siya ng chemistry sa UST and then he started his own beer brewing company. Ano siya? Nandun siya sa entrepreneurship business or entrepreneurship side ng chemistry. If may free time kayo, panoorin nyo na lang yun. Yun lang naman. And then, nag-test kami sa FICEM. Oh my gosh, guys. Paghandaan nyo ng sobra yung FICEM. Legit. Um, if you're a uh, first year turning second year, um, I think you should do advanced reading on physical chemistry. Kasi, hindi ko ma-explain eh. Pero, combination siya ng physics at chemistry. So, at the same time, may math, and then merong mga derivation ng formulas na meron din combination ng calculus. So, basta halo-halo siya. Um, basta, ano siya, um, kailangan mo talagang days before a quiz mo siya aralan, like, two to three days, para may hopes ka na pumasa dun sa 60%. Ano lang naman, um, I just wanna share, ang sobrang daldal ko na, um, hindi ko kasi ganong napapakita, so, hopefully, by me sharing my stories, or by me saying kwento, what I did, um, hopefully, na-envision nyo siya. I will, I will really try my best to record everything, like, a daily vlog or daily life. Yeah, I'm just still getting used to it. I'm um, gonna stop talking kasi ang haba ko ng ang haba na nung video na to. See you tomorrow. And will be asked during the open forum. As your external vice president, I will utilize my learnings and skills with great confidence to reach students beyond the four corners of my computer. Camp together and project. 
So in theology, you always get surprise reports. Sorry, I'm pangit. <laughs> Share ko lang kasi lagi na lang. Uh, I don't know. Pero lagi na lang may reports sa theology. Like surprise siya. Gagawin mo on the spot yung PowerPoint. So ako, ako yung magre-report. Um, so yeah, watch me oh, report, it. guys. All the so, yeah. you have been in so, we're able to start our discussion regarding uh, our chosen commercials, which is RC Cola and McDo's Karen and Lolo. Our thoughts about RC Cola commercial is um, that it is mod a modern take on advertisement and that it has a unique concept, which is delivered as a joke, actually. Sa commercial po namin, nag-revolve talaga kami sa value of family for both RC Cola and for the McDo. And I think kitang-kita naman po yun sa pre-noject ng mga commercials. So, with that, we end the report. And this is the idea of happiness of Group 1. Thank you and have a great afternoon. Done. in itself will be the one doing the work for you. It will work in a synchronous cycle once you have put all the necessary about food waste into the machine shredder.